All right, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the UV functionality uh, noise maker. So in this case here we pair trousers and uh, if we want to put a fabric pattern on the trousers um, it's quite easy to do use a noise maker but the main thing is that you have UVs on the model and decent enough UVs you know little to no stretching so it's not obvious when we wrap this uh, tile and wave pattern in this case texture onto the trousers so I'm gonna uh, actually UV it here in ZBrush using UV Master and then I'll also uh, go Z across the max and just do it quickly over there just to sort of show both ways of creating the UVs so you can create UVs really quickly here with a, a simple mesh like this just using UV Master so I'll drop down to the lowest level right so using um, the select uh, lasso or lasso lasso tool down here control shift and drag our selection and uh, you can hold space also to move it around or hold alt to take away from your selection so space moving in a bit and control shift X will grow your selection and then control W will create a new polygroup from uh, visible faces on your canvas and then control shift and drag off the model will invert the selection control W new polygroup control shift click bring it all back so it's just it's a good habit to just practice and practice with um the different uh, ways of using the, the lasso you know and same with the masking um, just getting used to the hotkeys control shift alt space and clicking and dragging in a different ways it affects um, your model right so I'm going to um, start here with UV master so um, down here I just have a Z plugin palette dock down here you can just uh, dock up by clicking on this little icon here so UV master yeah first thing we want to do model has multiple subdivision levels so uh, we want to make sure to enable this uh, or click this work on clone and we'll just work on a clone of that mesh um, so we can copy and paste the UVs back to our original and um, so yeah symmetry checked uh, make sure poly groups obviously is the most important thing to check here and unwrap and that's it done so these UVs are going to be workable for uh, for what we're doing here you know UVs are sorry ZBrush's um, UV Master's uh, LCSM algorithms it is really good relax algorithm it does a really good job of it so we'll unflatten copy the UVs and jump back to our original and paste these UVs back on now if we come to um, up to UV and map and morph UV there's the UVs we created right so that's how to um, do it in UV mass I'm just going to do it really quickly now in max so I'll delete these UVs again and they're gone and back down to the lowest level and Gozy. Right, here's our trouser over max. First things first, unwrap UVW modifier and we'll create our seams. Now I'm gonna just create the seams. Um, actually I'll probably no I'll actually just I'll create them along where the where the the pleat in the trail. You can create them usually when you're if you're breaking up UVs on clothing, you can kind of break them up where the natural seams would be when the the item of clothing was being manufactured. But um, just to keep it, I'll, suppose, I'll just do them the same as I did them in ZBrush actually, just to keep it uh, consistent. So just selecting an edge, click the loop tool, and then click this convert loop selection to seams. And once it turns blue, then it's a uh, it's a UV seam. Well, it isn't UV seam until we unwrap it, but it's it's a placeholder UV seam. Same again, loop, 
selection to pet the seam, loop, edge to seam selection. So that's pretty much it. Now we'll just um, select one of our faces and uh, click this expand polygon selection to seams. And uh, we could use a peel or pelt or you could even just use planar if you want. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Just make sure to click, select the uh, correct axis, which would be that one. Um, I'll just select element mode here. Oh, sorry, you have to actually exit out of this, or it'll be locked in the UV window. And select this one. Expand selection, face selection the seams. Planar. Make sure it's the correct. Um, planar projection which it is and make sure to uncheck this again and now we can grab all these bulk shells and tools relax relax by face angles or polygon angles and relax you can see the way that one jumped around there when it relaxed that actually means that um, the UVs are flipped so what you want to do is just grab them I'll just undo that relax just grab these and come up here to tools flip horizontal and now I'll, um, when we relax them again here you know they just relax they didn't jump all over the place so that will do there just apply this checker pattern quickly and you can see that it's pretty good not much it's pretty evenly spaced a bit of bit of stretching here and there I might actually just maybe see how the uh, nope I certainly didn't do the job I'll try um, I'll pelt it start pelt now, um, sometimes it's a good idea to uh, if you're using pelting to uh, select the stretcher and just scale it up really big and uh, pelt again just to give give the pelt enough space to uh, stretch it out and we'll commit that move it out of the way select this shell same again pelt um, pelt it and see here we're going to need to enlarge the stretcher so select stretcher scale scale it up pelt done commit I can just grab both of these and um, use this uh, rescale elements that'll just uh, scale them out to the, the correct size and these UVs are terrible so tool relax start relax yeah this is giving pretty bad results I'll just let that relax for a while and you can see now it's, this is quite similar to uh, the way UV Master unwrapped them so you can see now just letting that relax for a couple of minutes it's, it's much better so getting some weirdness going on here so I'll just select these and you can see that we might just want to grab these Sorry, you'll turn off element. Grab these. Nope. And what I think I'll do there is I'm just going to select this loop here. And that's going to be the same. So that's essentially broken that away. So now if I select select the element sorry I still have to um, it's just a, as I said before it's a placeholder seam so um, let's expand that selection and uh, we'll just quick pelt that and quick peel that and then we'll just select this side here do the same and do the same 
select all of them again and relax. Now we'll uh, rescale them and just pack them in. So I'm going to just uh, move them around here manually. I did a pretty crappy job of packing them. It doesn't really matter where these are. When we apply um use the noise maker it's I don't know why that packed them so crappy. Um scale I'm just gonna use this tool here and hold control uniform scale. Right, that'll do us that'll do us for our UVs. So we're just gonna um, collapse that back down and go Z back across. And now if we come back down again, more UVs, you can see there's a UVs that we created in Max. Lovely jubbly. Now we'll get to the meat and potatoes of what we came here to do. And uh, it's the UV and out of the way. Um, as you, you saw, it's you know the result in UV Master for how quickly it took you know it's going to be good enough so UV Master can be handy I could have even just um, split out those seams and did a temporary unwrap in Max and then just goes it back and then you used UV Master if I didn't want to mess around in, in Max with the different tools but uh, right so we want to come down to um, surface rollout noise and make sure to click this UV and our um, navigation. Uh, I'm just going to jump back up to the. Sorry, come out of this again. Back up to our highest level. So we'll open the noise maker again, and um, we have it set to UV. And as I say, the navigation here is the same. Um, exactly the same as it is on the canvas. Right, so this little um, button down here, you want to click the alpha on off. And um, where are we? I'm just going to jump into grab a texture. Um, I'm just going to use this one I have here. It's a tileable wave bump kind of pattern. You can use any tiling um, pattern you like. Um, for fabrics, in this case, um, bump maps, displacer maps, grayscale maps, whatever you can find some on uh, well, ZBrush. Or I'm sorry, on Pixelogic's website, and the um, the alpha downloads, or you can just grab one off. Uh, I think I don't know. I think I got that off Google Image Search or whatever. But they're all over the place. You can grab one there if you don't want to make one yourself. You can also extract them from photographs and everything. But it's handy to just grab one of these just while we're doing this. Um, so we'll use this one, and uh, at the moment we can't see anything. I don't know if you can see the screen recording; it's huge. So you want to drop the scale down, and we want to drop uh, the strength, or raise the strength. So you can just like using a bump map, um, in your normal 3D package uh, minus or plus depending so whites or blacks are pushed or pulled so it doesn't really matter I'm just gonna do a minus in this case and drop the scale and you can see there now there's our, our noise pattern our, sorry our tiling tiling pattern so yeah just make sure it's set to UV That is pretty much it. You can play around with these um, these different settings here. It'll affect um, it'll affect the way our grayscale is interpreted. So you can just click around, and that one there, um, second one in, looks to be about the best for this case. So I know it's a bit big, but just put so you can see it a bit better. So. That's basically it. Um, 
that's how it works. Now, you can see there's a little bit of weirdness here and there, so, um, like our seam is hidden in there. There's a seam there, so if you are UVing this properly, you know, you could cut your seam around here, around the kind of crotch, and then through there, or you could do it on these um, seams here, or wherever you wanted to do them, depending on, on your model, but that's pretty much it. Um, it's, a, it's quite a handy, it's quite a handy function in ZBrush, and these look like a pair of uh, yuppies golf trousers. So, um, that's about it there. Um, Alright, cheers, thanks, good luck.